Hey guys, today I'll show you how to set up a free email server called Stalwart. You just need to have a VPS with open port 25, a domain and a basic knowledge of Linux. And let's start. So if you don't know how to um, set up uh, dart node VPS you can just go to dart node and go to cloud hosting I always prefer NVMe storage and you can just use at least 4 gigabyte of RAM and be sure you have already your domain because you need to set your host name here so mail webshanks.org so I have covered um, setting up a VPS on Dart node on a separate video so I'll put a link on the description and below so that you can follow so it is just um, a basic uh, setup so that you can start using your VPS and okay um, you have your VPS on Dart node and you also have your uh, domain ready and now let's connect to our um, server so I am using Bitvice it's absolutely free so I'll just open my Bitvice okay so put your host um, IP address here on host and use port 22 you can just use root first for your um, initial login so just click login Accept and save and uh, paste your password here so let me go to my VPS dashboard okay this is my um, VPS dashboard and your password is here so just copy this one and just click new terminal console okay so your host name should appear here and um, let's install um, stalwart email and I'll just update my server here Okay, so now we have updated our server, but first um, let's map our DNS records. So just copy this one, uh, follow this guide, and I will show you on Cloudflare. Okay, this is how your DNS look like. So you have a records, be sure to set um, point this to your server IP address and do not use uh, proxy just DNS only and of course if you want to use IPv6 be sure you have IPv6 for your uh, mail so this is your MX server so okay and um, you can just follow this guide if you are uh, a new a new you can just add record a or um, MX that's it so I have already mapped this you can follow this guide and let's install um, stalwart email and let's make a directory will be opt stalwart dash mail and let's go to this directory okay. and just copy this command and let's install our 
stalwart okay um let's access our stalwart using this um login um link okay let's go to a new tab sorry to be logging if you are facing um secure connection failed you can just use okay you can just use your ip before so instead of mail the two options that work okay so we can log in using our um, administrator account so admin and this is the password do not include the single quotation marks so admin okay now we are here on our stalwart dashboard okay let's make sure that our host name is correct go to settings and let's add our host name here okay save and reload and let's add our domain go to management domains and let's create a new domain be webshanks work okay just click save changes and click this uh, triple dots and view uh, DNS records and let's create a text record for our DKM let's go back to our Cloudflare let's add a record choose a text record do not include a dot just copy this one up here okay and just click save and you should wait for a few minutes for this um, DNS to fully propagate Next, we will enable our TLS. So just go to settings, go to TLS, and click ACME providers, and just click create new ACME provider. Okay, let's name this as auth, and okay, for now, I will be using a personal email. gmail.com and click add to enter your host name okay just click save changes and we will restart our stalwart using a command okay just run this command into the terminal and now we will create um, an email so let's go to management the accounts and let's create a new account so login name let's say okay, Wayne Wayne Shanks. So let's say Wayne at webshanks.org and go to authentication and set a password. Okay, just click save it changes. Okay, so we already have uh, a TLS enabled. We will access our 
um, stalwart email using this. So instead of an IP address, we will be using our um, subdomain or rather the um, host name with port 8080. Okay, great. Okay, now we are able to access our stalwart using our um, subdomain or the host name. So let's log in. We'll close this one. Okay, next we will um, set our um, submission port, which is 587. So we go to settings, go to listeners, and edit this uh, port 587 will not use implicit TLS but we will override the TLS options be sure this is enabled as well save changes and let's restart our stalwart email so now stalwart uh, mail server doesn't have um, a web mail so we will need to use a client, an email client. I will be using Thunderbird. So I'll just run Thunderbird. Okay, that will be Wayne Shanks. My email will be Wayne at webshanks.org. Okay, we will add our email password and click continue. Okay, so now for out, our outgoing um, SMTP, it will be uh, start TLS. So we will configure manually. So this will be start TLS. Okay, just click done. And just click finish. Okay, now we are connected to our stalwart email and let's um, send a test email to a mail tester uh, to see our um, score. Okay, we will go to a mail tester. Oh, uh, I really forgot about the reverse DNS. So, reverse DNS is um, set on your uh, Dartmouth VPS. Just go to network and just click uh, reverse a DNS and be sure uh, your PTR entry is your host name just um, enter your host name here and just wait for a few hours uh, for this to uh, propagate so I have already set this one and our DNS records are complete as well as our RDNS let's uh, test our um, email so let's copy this one okay I'll just paste it here so I will be using a uh, an email template okay so I'll just copy this subject okay, I'll just copy this one okay let's uh, send Okay, let's go to mail tester and let's uh, check our score. Okay, perfect. We achieved a 10 over 10 score okay, from our email. And that's it. So this is how you will set up stalwart email server so that you can send and receive email messages. 
So now let's um, try to send to Gmail. Okay, so about that. So let's try to send to Gmail. Okay. I will use this email template. Okay, I'll just send this one. Okay, let's go to uh, Gmail. Okay, great. We receive the email from our stalwart and let's try to reply. Okay, great. We received the reply from um, Gmail. Okay, thank you. I will check it out. So this is how you will set up Stalwart email. So Stalwart email is free. And there is also an enterprise version for Stalwart for premium um, features. And um, so far, this is one of the simplest um, email server to configure. So the straightforward um, setup um, email server. So if you have any questions, just put them on the comment section and I'll try to answer them all. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.